Hi, this is Jay with Life Shown, and today I'm going to make this. It is a fox that is also a toy and reads out fox, and I'm making it because in a few months my son is going to be born and I wanted to do something for him. So if you want to see how to make this um, on the scroll saw, then stay tuned. Okay, the first step is to take this sheet and tape it to a board. So I did that here. Um, I just use this normal box tape here. And I'm not sure if it's true or not. I was told that if you tape up the entire thing with this, it's supposed to help lube the blade some so it won't stick as much or bend as much. Um, then I pre-cut the board just a little bit so it would be easier to turn. Um, then I'm going to take it to my scroll saw here and cut out the main shape first. Um, I'm not going to do all the lines in between. I'm just going to do the outside lines along here and then after that's done I'm going to come through and do all these lines in here. Um, I'm not sure how well this is going to film with the scroll saws going because I don't have a mic um, and I don't really have a good spot to place this because I don't really have a stand too um, but we'll see. Okay now I'll start to cut this out and I hope the saw isn't too loud for the camera. what it looks like for the first cut and see if you use that if you use that thin blade you get that really smooth cut so I always stick to as thin, thin as I can even though it means that I'll most likely have more blades break on me It's okay to me to make a few of these cuts a little bit more sharp than they appear on the drawing because I'm going to have to sand some and I don't want them to sand smooth. So I'd rather after the sand that they look like the drawing. So on a few of these turns I actually go a little bit sh sharper than what it says to do. If you ever feel like there's just a lot of spare wood, feel free to chop it out. There's no harm in it. And if you're doing an okay job, you should be making stuff that actually can't fall out. So you'll have to actually stop and, t and take it out. Okay, now you can see all the spots I tape are starting to flap around a lot. Um, and as I go, that's just going to get worse and worse. So I'm going to take the time and actually re-tape these, um, just so they don't flap as much. See that after I get a cut that's kind of big, the board starts to flop around a bit. That's normally a good time to um, 
pull back and take out the piece. Um, scroll scroll saws do do have the this little piece that's meant to hold the board down. Uh, I find it, it get, gets in the way more, but I mean, if you want to be more safe, I guess. But these things can't really cut you that that bad. So it's up to you. All I do is keep. You want want to keep right by the blade. Some force going down just so the blade don't twist and break on you. find yourself where you have to start to push more and more just to move at the same speed that's a good time to change the blade um, I normally just ch change change the blade before the start of a new thing new uh, pro pro project just to make sure that it's good and I hate to change in the m m middle of them Okay, I have to say I'm s sorry about that. Um, my camera can only record for so long, and evidently it, it was done. So, well, I got it. I got the rest done. I believe it stopped around here. I just kept going around. Um, then I retaped it. Um, now I'm going to go through and cut out each individual piece. Um, it's not as important to make sure they're, it's in exactly the same spot as before because as long as you're only doing one line and not going to... It's basically just always going to fit because you're only doing one line. As long as you don't do little sub pieces and stuff like that, you won't have a problem. Take off the tape, and there we go, we have the head. Um, it fits pretty good now. Um, I might sand it um, a bit more on the inside, or I might leave it, I'm not sure. Um, I'm really not too sure how precise kids' puzzles have to be, to be honest. Um, I think it'll be all right. Um, I will at least around the edges and make sure that there's no sharp points. legs. I'm going to go ahead and do the F now because I have that piece. And that's what happens when a blade breaks. I'll come back after I fixed it. Okay, just got back from the drill press. As you can see, I put a hole, hole in here where it doesn't make a big difference. Um, then you thread the saw blade through and reattach. Then you got your O. So, let's see here. Let's see how this thing looks. This is going to be before sand and stain because I don't think I'll get to that today. So, these are the pieces.
What do you all think? Close? Now something I don't know about is if these are supposed to stand up. And it does. Sweet. Well, this just has to go through sand and the stain. Make sure all those rough edges are off. Make sure all the little bits of tape are off. And it'll be good to go.